what I want to do in this video is one, just do a bunch of addition examples so that we really get some good practice and we really get warmed up with addition. And what I even more want to show you is that we now have all the tools we need to really tackle any, any addition problems. So let's just get warmed up with some one digit addition problems, but these are the ones that always give me a little bit of a headache. Well, let's start with a really uh, relatively straightforward. We want to say 2 plus 4. Well, we know what that is. We don't think we need to draw the number line uh, at this point, but you can if, if you need to remember this. 2 plus 4 is 6. Not too bad. What about 9 plus 3? We saw that in the last video. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus another one is 11, plus 3 is 12. 9 plus 3 is 12. And it's probably not a bad idea. It's good to visualize what's happening here, but it's also not a bad idea to be able to do these very fast, to be able to memorize at least what the one digit addition problems end up being. Let's do a couple of harder ones. 6 plus 7. This one always I used to find uh, difficult to, to remember, but 6 plus 7 is 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. Draw the number lines and the lemons and limes if, if, you, if you don't believe me. 6 plus 7 is 13. 8 plus 6, or 6 plus 8, is going to be 14. And that's the same thing as 7 plus 7 is also going to be 14. And if you think about it, we got the same number here as there. And, and it makes sense, right? Because we took one away from 8, but we had one more than 6. So it's like you just shifted the 1 from the 8 to the 6. That's why we got the same answer. If that confused you, ignore it. Let's just do a couple of more of these. So 8 plus 8 is 16. These are things that hopefully you'll, you'll be able to do super fast in the not too far off future. 5 plus 6, well, that's 11. These are things, let me just do a couple of more really fast. So let's say 7 plus 9 is going to be 16. You might want to draw the number line if you don't believe me. And that's going to be the same thing as 8 plus 8 is also 16. And then 9 plus 9 is 18. And then 9 plus 8 is 17. And that's just a little bit of warm up. We didn't do all of the possible combinations of one digit numbers. But these are some of the ones that give people a little bit more headache. So now that we've done that, let's tackle some larger digit numbers that we started doing in the previous video. In the previous, maybe I'll leave that there for now. So let's do a couple of them. Let's do 22 plus 3. 22 plus 3. So we go to the ones place. 2 plus 3 is 5. We didn't have to carry anything. And then in the tens place, we just have this 1, 2 sitting here. So we just take that 2, 2 plus nothing. It's two tens. It's two dimes. So then we put that down there. So we get 25. Two dimes and five pennies, or 25 cents, depending. A lot of people, money makes it easier to, be, uh, to understand things, or maybe, maybe to be motivated to understand things. All right, let's do another one. What is 38? 38 plus 38 plus 17. 38 plus 17. So what's so we look at just the ones place. What is 8 plus 7? Well, we haven't done that one yet. I'll do it up here. 8 plus 7 is equal to what's well, going to be one more than 8 plus 6, right? 8 plus 6 is 14, then 8 plus 7 is going to be one more than that. So it's 8 is going to be equal to 15. So in the in this problem, we write the 5 here. Let me write this in a different color. So the 5 and the 15, we'd write right down there in the ones place, and we would carry the 1 cuz that's one dime. That's 110. When you know when I, it's one, you know this 15. This is 10 plus five. So this this one really means one ten or one dime. So we put that one up there in the tens place, and we have one plus three is four plus one is five. So you get 55. One plus three plus one is this five. 38 plus 17 is 55. Or five tens and five ones. That's the same thing as 55. Let's do a couple more problems. I think you'll see that we have the tools to tackle anything, any problem. Let's say we have 47. Let me switch colors just to, just so it stays interesting. 47 plus 9. 47 plus 9. So we just look at the ones place. 7 plus 9. We know what that is already. We did that problem already. 7 plus 9 is 16. So you write the 6 in the ones place and carry the 1.
And that and now it's in the tens place, right? Because this is one ten right there. So one ten one dime plus four dimes is five dimes. So it's five dimes and six pennies. It's fifty six. Let's do slightly harder problems. Let me scroll down a little bit so we have some space to work with. Space to work with. That's we always need that. All right, let's let's do let's do something hard. Ninety nine plus eighty eight. That's a hard one. All right, but you just have to look at the parts of the problem, and you'll see how it'll all work out. You just say, what's what's nine plus eight? We did that up here. Nine plus eight, we know already is seventeen. That's a good one to remember. Nine plus eight is seventeen. It's always good to be able to visualize it as well. So nine plus eight is seventeen. Carry the one, and then we have one plus nine is ten. Ten plus eight is eighteen. Now this is interesting. We want to write eighteen down. So we have write our eight down there, right? We have one plus nine plus eight. One plus nine plus eight is equal to eighteen. We wrote the eight down there, and we say, oh, well, let's carry the one. We carry the one, but we carry it into the hundreds place. This was the ones place, the tens place. Now we're in the hundreds place, but there's nothing else in the hundreds place, so it just drops straight down. So you can almost just write the eighteen just like that. So ninety-nine plus eighty-eight is one hundred and eighty-seven. Let's keep doing some. Examples. Well, you can see that's all the same pattern. We could probably we could add two ten-digit numbers to each other as long as we're just careful about carrying our digits. So let's do seven hundred. Let me switch colors because I'm. We'll do some three-digit numbers. Let's do a four-digit number. Let's not mess around. Let's do a four-digit number. So let's do four thousand three hundred and sixty-eight plus. Five hundred and seventy-two. Let's see what happens here. All right. Eight plus two. I'll write it down here. Eight plus two. We know that that is equal to ten. You could do the number line if you need to. Eight plus two is equal to ten. Put the zero in the ones place. Carry the one. Now we're in the tens place. This is really one ten. This is six tens. This is seven tens. Or you could think of them as dimes if we're thinking about change. So one dime plus six dimes is seven dimes. Seven dimes plus seven dimes is fourteen. Let me write like this. We could write one plus six plus seven is equal to one plus six is seven. Seven plus seven is fourteen. So this right here is going to be equal to fourteen. Carry the one. Now we have. Let me do it in another color. I'll do it in pink. We have one plus three. We're in the hundreds place now. Plus five. One plus three plus five. Well, one plus three is four. One plus three is four. Plus five is nine. Four plus five is nine, so this is going to be equal to nine. Nothing to carry. We only had something in our ones place. Nine is just nine pennies. It's no dimes. It's just nine pennies. And then we go to the thousands place. Nothing to add to the thousands place. So you just take this four thousand. You see a four here, but since it's in the fourth digit to the left, this means four thousand. So this four thousand right here, we don't have any other thousands to add it to, so we just bring it straight down. So you bring the four down there. So four thousand three hundred and sixty-eight plus five hundred and seventy-two is four thousand. We'll put a comma there to make it easier to read. Four thousand nine hundred and forty.